welcome back uh, to my YouTube channel World of True Tech returning with the Matchbox model kit from the 70s very vintage uh, nice vintage models I'm really I'm feeling so sorry about the, the box condition it's extremely worn sorry about that but it is a survival model kit uh, in this case I've got the P-47D Thunderbolt. It's a very classic aircraft, low-wing aircraft, tail dragger. It's easy to, 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 to build for the beginners, easy models. And um, as other, another, with other um, model kits from Matchbox, it's the same artist, Roy Hoskley. Is use, is if you watch the, my video uh, reviewing the Hawk Seedley, you will see the same artist who painted this art, this uh, drawing. I, I really love uh, this uh, kind of art. Okay, uh, it's uh, as I said, 170 second scale, two color kit. This is a small box. I insist, sorry for the conditions, but it's still surviving. Um, the catalog, the Matchbox catalog, in order to find the Thunderbolt, is the um, PK-22. Another models from Matchbox, it, this is a kind of a catalog on the side of the box. And uh, the suggestion that you could build the aircraft without painting and uh, it looks very nice to me no problem if you are not going to paint it and uh, it looks like a kind of uh, prototype so what's the problem that's fine and uh, some information written in some languages in four languages uh, French German Italian and Spanish the original feature of this box, matchbox bo uh, packing or box, is the nice uh, clear window in order to see what's inside, what the pieces, etc. And the makings of, the, of your choice, you, you are free to choice, choose, sorry, uh, which one you want. Uh, this one is the 404th Fighter Group, 9th, 9th or 9th U.S. Air Force, uh, June 1944, England. Okay. Well, uh, the stripes, etc. In white, uh, white, um, black and white. The green body and dark grey under the aircraft. And this is another version, another version, uh, 373rd Fighter Group, 9th or 9th U.S. Air Force, August 1944, England. Okay, the kit is manufactured in 1974. Um, let's uh, check the contents. Uh, one surprise here, I will explain you ahead, more ahead. The building instructions, again, uh, very small and folded in three parts. It, it became a very long paper with the same cover here in black and white. Um, the painting information like uh, olive uh, drab uh, from Humbrol, it's a uh, HU2, the code, Humbrol code, neutral, neutral gray, the airframe white, night black, um, airframe silver, insignia yellow, gun metal, flesh, khaki drab, leather, etc. How to apply the water sticker painting small parts like wheels, struts um, this um, 
a radial engine engine cylinder, uh, the propeller with four blades, the um, gun barrels, the inner cockpit, pilots, bombs, etc. Again, I am assisting in this uh, stunning uh, display stand in uh, Transclear display stand with the system uh, ball and so um, push uh, the socket head and socket system in order to get movement uh, kind of pivot movement uh, with the M shape as a base and the main support that allows uh, this aircraft to to get a multi position uh, landing or uh, taking off or turning around or horizontal uh, flying flight well that's about the building instructions so you will find an ugly feature I didn't like this because of the age of this uh, aircraft this um, uh, model kit uh, first of all the very uh, old uh, film protector or cover of the water stickers paper it's extremely old and it's got sticky uh, um, in the surface of the, this paper that's the original um, water slide uh, transfer uh, with the some stripes black and white black and white stripes for the fuselage and the insignias the US insignias and the name of the aircraft which uh, must be placed one side of the display stand base. Uh, unfortunately, I have to to fix it when I build it. More ahead, I don't remember what what kind of uh, sticker were here. I cut it uh, out in order to use uh, to another aircraft. But I think it's not. I will choose one option. So. It's, I, I think it is a uh, remaining uh, graphics. Okay. Anyway, let's check the spruce with the two color kit. This color kit, um, the fuselage uh, with this uh, kind of uh, dark brown, or well, with um, some lines, uh, uh, raised uh, panel lines we got to be careful sending it the bombs the wheels the um, engine cowling the pilot right here and um, some an antenna mast the rear landing gear the um, propeller hub and um, the gun barrels etc as you see, the fin is uh, incorporated. It's it's uh, as part of the main fuselage in one piece. So no no extra piece uh, for the fin. The propeller with uh, four blades. It should be placed. It get loose right here. And uh, the other sprue with the wings, solid wings, no no halves for the the small ones. The um, landing gear doors, the racks for the bombs or missiles, the struts, the um, radial in, uh, si um, radial engine cylinder, and uh, four halves. For the wings, the, the top and the, the bottom, uh, with very nice plastic. Uh, these are this is not uh, uh, that's a groovy groovy panels, not uh, raised raised uh, lines. It's like kind of groovy groovy. Uh, that's the name I think. It's in metal gun color finishing, so I I'd rather be painting it, not uh, using the original colors. 
of the plastic. And I really like, as you know, the Transclear parts. The, um, let's uh, handle it with uh, tweezers. The M shape for Matchbox Lesney. The main support with the ball for uh, attaching the socket socket system and uh, it will work like a pivot pivot uh, movement for the multi-position uh, aircraft when you uh, want to mount it on the display stand and this is the canopy uh, bubble canopy with uh, the structure we have to mask it or paint it by hand brushing if you want it so that's it about the, the this model kit it contains 38 pieces uh, the dimensions of the aircraft are um, 14 and a half um, centimeters long or length by um, 17.4 centimeters uh, wingspan uh, due to the scale. Um, oh, the seat of the pilot. Very nice. That's it about uh, this uh, survival dodo, uh, beautiful dodo. And uh, I hope to build it soon with the process. I will record the process more ahead. But right now it is still from the manufacturers. It's still uh, in mint condition, the, the plastic but not the box, the box is completely worn, so apologize for that. And um, let's go on to the next review. Uh, thank you very much indeed for watching this review, and uh, see you on the next model kit from Matchbox. Bye-bye!